collectively. So before I bring them in, I'm uh, going to braid our energies together. So as we close our eyes, I'd like to invite the 25 of us to envision us standing in a circle. And now as you take a breath in, we move our consciousness down into our heart space, down into that portal of all that is. And envision you opening the energetic space within this heart center so that it is receptive, so that it is malleable. And now envision a golden ray of light moving from this heart space to your left, moving into the energetic heart of everyone in this circle. Feel the energy moving around this circle until it finds its way back to you. Connecting in with each of us. And now I invite you to envision a blue ray of energetic light moving through your heart space to the right of you. Connecting in with each individual in this circle. moving through their energetic field in their heart until it reaches back to you. And now collectively, we are going to begin braiding that golden light and that blue light together. Seeing it as it melds into an emerald green light braiding all of our energies together so that the entire heart chakra is completely enveloped in a green light. And now we invite all of our guidance here with us and we move that green light from beyond the heart center into our entire energetic Field. from the toes above the crown and in this space of energy I will now invoke guidance And we enrich you with our lights and energies today, beloved ones. We are the Divine Mothers. And we are most rejoiced to be with you again. 
for we have been with you all in spirit on these many days, these journeys into these morning meditations. And we sit with bated breath as we feel each of you in your expansions. It is most joyful for us. Mm, yes. And we know it is most joyful for you each. For we feel that you recognize that you are coming into your own. And the beauty of it is that you are coming into your own through coming into collective collaboration with others. Yes? Feel the irony of that, that you come into your own remembrance of your brilliance, not through journeying alone in this life, but through journeying collectively with others of like mind, of like heart. For that is the true heart of the human experience, is to journey with others while you dwell within your own radiance. And so what each of you are doing, what each of you are being in these days, is that you are breaking free of limited belief systems that had you feeling alone in life. And yes, we know that each of you have loved ones who you have shared your journey with. And in fact, you have certainly shared your journey with those of us in spirit. But you are in a new and much emboldened space in these recent times, yes. For you are returning to the remembrance of true unity. And you are, hmm, using these individuals on these various platforms, and we say the word use with most love, with most honor. But you are using these groups who are amassing to help you remember how it is to feel as a unified collective. Feel into that, if you would. Feel into those moments when you have been with any of these groups, either in person or on these online. And feel into those moments when you have had that, mm, aha, I feel seen. I feel valued. I feel heard. Yes. And so you see, you are getting just a mere glimmer of what it is like for us in non-physical. For we are the collective totality, and we feel the unity of one, and yet we also have our own individualism. And yet when we can feel the unifying energies, it feels most grand. It feels most beneficent. It is how we gain our greatest strength. And so to you, beloved ones, 
who are returning into the circle, the tribe who you are, you are beginning to reach into that tapestry of us, that tapestry of the Christed consciousness who we are. You are reaching into us with more fullness as you learn how to commune with your brothers and sisters here. In these communions, and more importantly, you are learning how to bring this wholeness, this communion, into the other circles where you exist. Have you not found this so that in your groups with co-workers and with families and with friends and neighbors that you are finding yourself to be more radiant, more authentic, more patient, more compassionate, more loving indeed. And it is because you are stretching yourself. You are allowing yourself to become vessels for us in spirit. And that is the journey that you have sought. Each of you and it is no coincidence, of course, that we are collected, gathered together in these days. Each of you have had the asking to be a vessel for Christed light. And you may not have spoken it in those words, but that is indeed what your heart has called for you to do. And so today, in these days when you have been most actively connecting with spirit, through your meditations, through your Course in Miracles, through these other channeled works, and through these themes here on these groups, we in fact are stretching you we are making you more malleable so that you may be infused with more of our energies day in and day out. And so that our energies then ooze through you when you are going about your days. You are the living embodiment of us. And we are so filled with gratitude that you are willing to hold our energies. For they are most needed by your human brothers and sisters. So you need not do anything out of the ordinary when you are going about your days. But know with deep assurance that you are becoming more and more the embodiment of us. And we know you each feel the truth of this, yet you may not be ready to speak this. And that is where your practices of worthiness must come into play to remember your worthiness to be a vessel of spirit. For you each are that. For you each are us. 
And so we will close this circle as we began it by allowing you to feel to be entrenched in our energies. So we invite you each to close your eyes and simply breathe in our love for you, our love for all of consciousness. And as you feel us in and around and within you, know that these energies of us never dissipate. You simply distract yourself from feeling the energies of us but you are now the vessel containing our energies. And because all is energetic in this world, know with certainty that when you move about your days, feeling that you are in an individual space, you are in fact emitting the communal energies of us. Always. For you have asked for it to be so. So we thank you for holding on to us with such reference as we hold on to you. We give you our abiding love. And we will speak again. Namaste. Thank you for that. Thank you, Louise. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs>